What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam. I'm a full-time six-figure eBay and Shopify seller. And what I do on this channel is help you make money on either eBay or Shopify. So make sure you subscribe down below. What I'm gonna do in today's video is answer one of my subscribers' questions on my last video. He wants to know exactly what to do in terms of starting a car accessory business on eBay. So what I'm gonna do is jump into the computer and I'm gonna search for a product that I would start selling if I wanted to start a car part business on eBay. So what you're gonna learn from this video is how to pick a specific product in any category that you wanna sell in. You can sell this product if you want that I'm gonna show you, or you can use the strategy that I'm gonna show you to find whatever product you wanna sell. You're probably thinking, but why should we listen to you? I have multiple different eBay stores, but I've been able to start a new business on eBay that's done 30,000 pounds in the last 90 days and 10,000 pounds in the last 31 days in revenue. So let's not waste any more time. We're gonna jump right into the video. If you find any value in the video, don't forget to press the like button as it helps out the channel in a big way. Whilst you're down there, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any videos on how to make money on either eBay or Shopify. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the video. So what the subscriber wants to know is exactly how he can start a car accessory business on eBay right now. So what I normally do when it comes to building a new business on eBay is that I jump onto ebay.co.uk or .com wherever you're based and I search for a business in the same category that I want to start selling in just so I can see how they've structured their store, how their logo looks, what the name of their business is, what type of products do they sell. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to jump right into the laptop, go onto ebay.com and I'm going to search for a company that's selling car accessories just so that we have an idea of how to brand our store because I get a lot of messages quite often from people asking how can I brand my store so I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of exactly how you can structure your store using a business on eBay right now so let's jump right into it all right so the first thing that I do when it comes to searching for a store just so I can have an idea of how they've branded their store how they've structured it is that I start on the main eBay homepage so what you do once you're here is that you have to scroll down once you're at the bottom of the page, what you need to click on is eBay shops. Once you're on this page, what you need to do is click on find stores. And then what I do once I'm here is I just type in car parts. So as we can see now, it says here that there's 383 shops found with car parts in their shop name. This is why it's important that whatever product you decide on selling, that you can try and put it in the name of the actual business so that whenever customers are searching for that product, it's going to pop up on this page right here. So you have a higher chance of making sales. So what I'm gonna do now is just click on one of them just so that we can have a look at how they've structured their store. So I'm gonna click on this one, ACP All Car Parts. All right, so when it comes to branding your store, the first thing that I want you to look out for is the logo. As you can see, it says ACP All Car Parts. Straight away, any customer that comes onto the store will automatically know exactly what this business sells. They've got their categories listed out very nicely at the top here, service parts, brakes, engine parts, etc etc you know they've got a custom store template not every single business on ebay will go the lengths of spending money to get a custom store template straight away we can see how they've structured it we can see what type of products are selling and this is how you should approach your ebay store we can clearly see that this company is doing very well because they've got over 1 million different items for sale right now they've got over 4,000 followers so car parts is definitely a business that's doing well on ebay so what i'm going to do now is scroll through this company see if i can find a product that's selling well right now that maybe I can use to start up my car accessory business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through. Once I find the product, I'm gonna get back to you and show you exactly what I look out for. Let's go. So I've been searching and searching and I finally found this product that is definitely selling well. What it is is a front and rear camera that goes on your car dash. So if you have any accidents, it's always recording and you can use it for any insurance claims or whatever. So what you do is that you just stick it on your car and it goes on the front and the back. I definitely know that it's selling well without me even getting into the purchase history, just by me looking at this section right here. As you can see, it says 25 has been sold in the last 24 hours. So straight away, I already know that he's made over 400 pounds in revenue in the last 24 hours from this product. But what I'm gonna do is just click on this link right here where it says 25 sold, just so that I can have a better insight to see how many he sold exactly. So just for reference, today is the 20th of October. As we can see, he's already sold four today. He sold three yesterday to one customer. I'm gonna scroll down and just have a look at the last one because this page only shows the last 100 transactions. Since the 16th of October, this seller has sold 100 of this item, which means that he's made over 2,000 pounds in the last four days 
from this item. So straight away, I know if I wanted to start a car accessory business, I'm definitely gonna sell this product. It has something to do with cars, it's selling well, and it will help get my business jump started if I did wanna get into car accessories. So what I'm gonna do is just jump over to Terra Peak right now, and I'm gonna have a look and see if the product is really, really selling well and exactly how much it's made month on month. And most importantly, I'm gonna check the sell through rate. So let's do that right now. All right guys, so I've just jumped over to Terra Peak. The way to find Terra Peak if you're new to my channel and you don't know where to find it, what you need to do is click on research right here and click on Terra Peak product research. Once you do that, it's gonna bring up this page and then once you're here, you'll be able to now do further research into whatever product you're trying to search for on eBay. So what I've already done is entered all the details. I've typed in the keyword right here. I've entered in the whole of September because I wanna see exactly what it did last month so I can have an idea of what it's gonna do in the following months. So what I've done is put the 1st of September to the 30th of September, and then I've selected new, fixed price and best offer accepted. The reason why I put new is because I wanna only see the new products and I want it to only bring up all of the new products. I don't want it to show me any of the used products that people are trying to sell that they've had from years ago, because I'm only gonna be selling new ones. So I wanna see exactly how easy it would be for me to sell a new car dash camera fixed price because I'm only gonna be doing fixed price. I'm not gonna be doing auction and best offer accepted because I'm also gonna be putting best offers on my listing so that customers can you know, place best offers and I'll either accept or decline it. So once I've done all of that, what you need to do is click on research, make sure you put the right category and then scroll down. So the first thing I always look at if you've been subscribed to my channel before is the sell through rate. What I always do is look for products that have a minimum sell through rate of 40, 50, ideally 60. What the sell-through rate means is that the higher it is, the more likely you're gonna be able to sell it. 48% is a really, really high sell-through rate and you've got a high chance of selling this product if you was to sell it. And there's only 259 sellers, which is also amazing. The product that we looked at, which is this one right here, 12,000 pounds is what this seller has made in the whole of September, which is a lot of money. And I'm sure any of you would love to make that just from one product. The seller after that made 8,000 pounds in September, the one after that, 4,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, and so on and so forth. Now that I know that the product is selling well on eBay by checking the purchase history, and I've also checked Terra Peak to see how much the seller made in the previous month, what I'm gonna do now is go over to Alibaba, check if it's available. If it is available, I will then contact the suppliers and then make sure that I import it ASAP so that I can start shipping it out myself from my warehouse. All right, so what I'm gonna do is jump over to Alibaba.com Let's do it. So I've just jumped over to Alibaba.com and I've typed in four inch dual car camera because that's the keyword from majority of these different products on eBay. So what I'm gonna do now is just scroll through and see if we can find one that's similar to the one that we was looking at on eBay with the highest years possible. So the main thing, if you're new to my channel, that I look out for on Alibaba is the years that the supplier has been around. I don't necessarily look at all of these different icons. The number of years go up to like 12, 13 years. So the higher, the better. But if you can get around four, five, six years, depending on what product you're going for, that's gonna be ideal because the more years that the supplier has been on Alibaba, the less likelihood you're gonna get scammed. So what I'm gonna do now is just scroll through and see if I can find a similar product. Let me just open up the eBay listing for the product that we initially looked at so we can have an idea. Okay, so this is what the product looks like. Okay, let me just go back to Alibaba and have a look. All right, so this one looks very similar to the one that we are looking at. Let me just enlarge the image. Yeah, we can see that this one is very similar. It's got the blue bezel around the lens. It's also got the blue bezel. It's got that flash. It's got the flash right there. It's got the flash right there. Yeah, this is exactly the same product. So. You know, this supply has been on Alibaba for the past four years, not the best, but at least now we know we will be able to import it if we want to. Four years isn't too bad. What I would do at this point is just structure an email, send off the email to the supplier. I'm going to link a video in the info card above that's basically going to show you how to contact suppliers, the process of what I go through when I contact suppliers on Alibaba. So make sure you watch that if you do want to start selling this product. Now we know that we'll be able to import this product and start competing with this seller that's been able to sell 26 in 24 hours. I think he's even sold two since I've done this video. So this product is definitely selling well. Make sure you structure your eBay store well. If you want more information on how to structure your eBay store, click the link in the pinned comment down below. That's gonna break down exactly what you need to do when it comes to building a business step-by-step step on eBay. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it as it helps out the channel in a big way. I really appreciate it. Whilst you're down there, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, 
so that you don't miss any video that I'm gonna be releasing helping you make money on either eBay or Shopify. If you got any video ideas and you want me to make your video, comment it down below because I might make your video next. All right guys, I'll see you next week. Peace.